Welcome back golfers. Today we're going to talk about the 10 things you might be doing to get stuck in your golf swing. So stay tuned. So today's topic is getting stuck in the golf swing. And there's two terms we need to define before we get into all of our reasons why we get stuck. So the first one, we need to understand swing path. So I put two alignment sticks down here on the ground. If I have a ball right here, so my swing path in my golf swing is the outer alignment stick here. This is my swing path. If our swing is very efficient, it's working right down, working a little bit from the inside, matching up at that line, and then working back to the inside down that swing path. Now this inside stick is my body lines. So my body lines are going out parallel to my swing path. And the second term we need to define is getting stuck. So you probably have felt this before if this has happened to you, but getting stuck happens for two reasons. One, your structure gets in the way of your intended movement and then you have to manipulate to get out of that position. And then number two is your intended path changes. If your intended path changes and your club comes back in here, back behind you, then your body has to do some type of manipulation to get out of the way or to get it back to the path or you're just going to be missing shots out typically out in front of you. Um, you'll, you know, you'll see a lot of blocks or you might see a block in the next one you might overcompensate and then you'll pull the next one. So it's a lot of inconsistency in your shot pattern is typically caused from getting stuck in your golf swing. So this video is going to be a little bit different than my other ones. My other ones I usually go really in depth on how to fix all these and give you drills. Um, on this one I'm going to refer a video from one of my past instructional videos. If you see this is your issue, click on that and that will help you get through the process of getting you into the right position. All right, cause number one, and that is your trail hand grip is on the club and you're probably wrapping underneath and it's too strong. So if you think of, you're looking at the V of the hand, that V is coming out over here behind you rather than near your shoulder. So that is going to cause a lot of issues on your downswing because trail hand grip too strong will bring the club up. It'll aim the face towards the sky. So from that top position where the face is aiming too, too much towards the sky and it's not matching up with that lead wrist, what's going to happen is as you drop the club down, you're going to try to get this toe to come more up in the air. Because if you drop it right down your path, the face will be really shut and you'll hit these low hooks down in front of you. So what your body or your brain tells you to do is drop the club further back. So instead of being there, you pull the toe back and that brings the, sh the toe more vertical. But when that happens, now you can see my shaft, my path of my club is now aiming to go out in front of me and then it gets you stuck. It's a tough position to play from. Um, I know a lot of golfers I work with struggle with this, so check the grip in your trail hand. All right, reason number two for getting stuck. And this one's pretty simple. It's alignment. We talk about alignment a lot in my videos, but alignment will get you stuck quite often. And if you are intended path to go that direction towards that blue flag out there, our body or our swing naturally wants to follow our foundation in the ground, our feet, our knees, how they naturally are set up at the beginning. Now, if our body is set up where it's shut, well, now the club will naturally fall down our foundation, but our foundation's in a shut position, which then brings the club back behind us more, and then we have to do some type of manipulation to get back to that golf ball. So be careful with where your alignment is going. We want to see parallel lines. So reason number three, and this is 
a loss of positive spine tilt in your golf swing. If the body slides forward and our body comes more vertical, now our body doesn't have room to get out of the way. You can see how my trail shoulder is high, and now when you come into it, you're gonna feel like this side has to collapse and the trail side has to dominate the swing, and that's gonna cause a lot of issues, a lot of handsy issues with hitting a golf shot. So we want to see that spine angle maintain, turn, maintain. As you come through, you're gonna increase your positive spine tilt. So that'll help us maintain our side bend as we come through and get you to a better finish naturally engaging that trail glute. So watch how your spine is engaging through your transition to your finish. All right, number four, and this is our path of our backswing, the takeaway movement going back. So if you're very handsy with the way that you take the club back, that could get you across the line and get the club path coming back to the inside. Um, you could also be working out as well. So all these affect the way the arc of the backswing moves or the, the, where the hands rotate. What we want to see with the hands is that we make a loop like this with the hands. So it's actually an over the top movement with the hands. So your hands are going to work inside, there, up, and then as you come through, they'll work over the top a little bit and then down your path. Your club is going to work the opposite. Your club is going to work back, up, drop back behind. You can see the path loops backwards and then works down and through. What we don't want to see in our path, which will get us stuck, is two loops working backwards, meaning the hands work back and then this way, and then the club's looping back behind us as well, because that's also going to get us into a stuck position, and you're not going to be able to get out of that one very easily. So watch the double, double loop movement of the backswing getting you back behind you. Alright, number five, and this is a pretty common one for most golfers, and that is watch your hip line, because your hip line will directly affect your shoulder line. So in the backswing, if your first move is your hips flatten, which then flattens your shoulders and brings your, your spine angle more vertical, then the club will naturally want to fall back behind us. You might also think of this as start of early extension. So that move right there will definitely get you into a stuck position, dropping the club back behind us, and then your body will try to spin out of it, but it's a tough one to fix. All right, more than halfway through. Number six. Six is you're taking the club too far back with your arms. And this could be that your arms are doing too much in the first move back, the takeaway. But really what we're seeing is you're getting this compression into your trail elbow where it's stuck back behind you rather than what we want to see is out in front, out and away. So we're creating width and so that you can pull energy back towards the body. So you can actually compress on the downswing rather than being fully compressed and collapsed in there on the backswing, because what that's gonna do is stick you in a position where you feel like you have to drive from the upper body and your sequence is gonna get screwed up. You're not gonna be able to pull energy down and your shoulders will probably spin too quick, leaving the club probably behind you and then that could leave you into a stuck position pretty easily. So watch my video on width in the corner. Number seven, number seven is for most of those baseball players or ex-baseball players out there. Very common one, 
Also, if you get that really strong grip, this is gonna affect you as well. So this is lead elbow. Watch my video on lead elbow to help work up through this one. But the lead elbow, as you come into the golf ball, is going to start aiming out and away, flattening your wrist position, and pulling your arm away from your, your armpit. So you get this disconnect here as you drop the club down and then it'll stick you into a position where you either have to flip or you're gonna naturally wanna try to get your grip stronger and all those positions are gonna make it hard to be consistent because you're gonna just gonna be stuck using that lead arm in a position that's awkward and not in a position where you can actually learn to hit a lot of different shots. All right, number eight, and this is poor weight transfer. And this can happen on your, at your setup. This can happen into your backswing. This can happen in your transition. So what this means, you're leaving weight and pressure into your lead foot, either at the beginning and you're falling into your bend, creating reverse weight shift, or you're doing that through the first move, you're getting this bump towards your target and then a turn. And that will also create that stuck position because it's sliding the whole structure. When we talk about positive spine tilt, you're not gonna be able to do it in this position. It's also gonna get you rotating through your lead hip rather than your trail. And the other reason that this could be happening is if you're getting off that lead side too soon, and then you're getting your lower body to start driving forward, putting you into early extension, and that'll get the club stuck behind, which will lead to getting stuck almost every single swing. Terrible position to work on, to work out of. So we gotta work on that weight transfer and maintain the pressure through that backswing so we can work on creating that positive spine tilt as we drive through the golf ball and I'll make things much easier. Check out the video for more help. All right, number nine. This one kind of falls in a couple other categories we already talked about already, but it is slow rotation of the shoulders as you drop down. Meaning when you get to impact, your shoulders end up aiming across your intended path and then that's gonna have to make you have to manipulate through your hands a lot. Definitely a stuck position. We'll get the club behind you real easy, but we wanna make sure your hips are leading, but the shoulders are still opening up. This will happen a lot if you get into early release in the club, poor weight transfer, loss of that positive spine tilt, you know, a lot of other areas which we've kind of gone over but poor rotation coming down and not getting the shoulders to open up, extending through that lead side, getting that lead side nice and tall, get you out of that stuck position and get you opening up and rotating through, working that shoulder back and open as you come into impact. All right, number 10, that is poor sequencing of the golf swing, meaning what moves first from the top? If your upper body moves first from the top, then your sequencing is top down, which is not what we wanna see. We wanna see bottom up sequencing in your golf swing where the lower body initiates, opens up those hips, squares up those knees, then the trunk starts moving, then the hands start to, or the shoulders and the hands start to move and start to release the club and work on through. Good sequencing will get you out of a lot of stuck positions because it'll keep the club working in front of your body rather than getting stuck behind your body. Golfers, if you get into a stuck position, I hope one of these 10 mistakes that we talked about might get you the relief you need. Remember, click on the link, watch the video that is associated with it. Those, that information will get you 
out of most stuck positions. Remember, if your feet aren't working, your swing's not working. Catch you guys next time.